Welcome back. We continue our discussion on equivalent force systems and we will solve a different problem in this video. Just to recapitulate, two force systems are said to be equivalent if they have the same sum that is the same resultant and the same net moment about any one point. So, let us go ahead and take a look at the problem. Here in this problem, we have two force systems acting on a bracket. The first force system comprises of the two forces F1 and F2 and it is equivalent to the force coupled system acting at point O. Both the systems are shown in the same figure and for the sake of clarity, let us split up the force system into two different figures. This is system 1 comprising of the two forces F1 and F2 and system 2 is comprising of a force of 10 Newtons in positive x direction along with the couple. We have to find the magnitude and direction of the moment of the couple. So, the first condition is that the vectorial sum of the two forces F1 and F2 is equal to the vectorial sum of the forces in system 2, but in system 2 we just have a single force. So, it will be equal to 10 Newtons. Since the forces F1 and F2 are in xy plane, we can use the scalar equations. So, the first scalar equation for the x direction is given here. Now, we break up the forces into their components. Here, F1 is with a slope of 1 over 1. So, this side of the triangle would be root 2 and therefore, F1 x would be F1 times 1 upon root 2 and F2 x is in minus x direction. Therefore, F2 x would be minus F2 sin 30. So, our equation would be F1 times 1 upon root 2 minus F2 sin 30 and will be equal to 10 Newtons which is a single force in system 2. We plug in the value of sin 30 to get the second equation and then multiplying the entire equation by 2 will simplify to this equation. And now we will be applying the second scalar equation that is sum of y component of the forces in system 1 is equal to sum of y component of the forces in system 2. So, f 1 y is f 1 times 1 upon root 2 and it is in positive y direction. F 2 y is F 2 cos 30. It would be plus because it is pointing in plus y direction. So, equation is F 1 times 1 upon root 2 plus F 2 cos 30 equal to 0 because there is no force in the y direction in system 2. We plug in the value of cos 30 in the second equation and then multiply the entire equation by 2 to simplify it to this equation root 2 F 1 plus root 3 F 2 equal to 0. Now, we have a set of simultaneous equations and two unknowns F 1 and F 2 and we can solve them to compute the values of F 1 and F 2. You can do it on your own and you will get this result. F 1 is 8.96 Newton and F 2 is equal to minus 7.32 Newtons. The minus sign here indicates that force F 2 in reality is in the opposite direction that is it is pointing in this direction and that seems quite logical because the y component of force F 1 in positive y direction should nullify the y component of F 2 which would be in negative direction. So, as to get a 0 component of the force in y direction in system 2. But nevertheless, we will continue to assume that the direction given in the problem for F 2 is correct and wherever we have to substitute the numerical value of F 2, we would plug in minus 7.32 Newtons. Now, having got the magnitude of these two forces, we can compute the value of the moment about point O. So, here are the results that we got from the previous slide. And now, we shall use the second condition which is the sum of moments of all the forces about point O in system 1 would be equal to the sum of moments 
in session 2 that is the moment of the couple m in this particular case. So, here is the equation we first need to decide the sign convention. Let us assume that anti clockwise moment is positive. So, moment of f 1 and f 2 about point O is let us break up these forces into their components. So, that we can conveniently find out their moments about point O. Here are the components of the two forces. You would notice that f 1 y passes through O therefore, has 0 moment about O. Nevertheless, f 1 x with a moment arm of 2 meters produces a clockwise moment and therefore, the minus f 1 x times 2 which is the moment arm. f 2 x passes through O therefore, its moment about O would be 0. However, f 2 y would cause anti clockwise moment about O and the moment arm for f 2 y would be the distance O b which is 4 meters. So, plus f 2 y times 4. Now, we plug in the values of f 1 x and f 2 phi which is f 1 x is 8.96 into 1 upon root 2 plus now we plug in the value of minus 7.32 for f 2 and f 2 y is minus 7 point 3 to cos 30 4 is the moment arm for f 2 y. So, this would simplify it and would be equal to minus 38.03 and since m o is equal to moment of the couple in system 2 therefore, m would be 38 Newton meter and instead of minus sign we can say it is clockwise. So, this is the value of m that is the couple is of moment 38 Newton meter in clockwise direction. So, that is our answer. So, that is it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.